Good morning! I'm Marie Gracie Magsino, your science teacher. In this lesson, you will be able to describe different modes of reproduction in animals, such as butterflies, mosquitoes, frogs, cats, dogs, and other animals. Oh, look at this little kitten! Ming Ming, come over here! Let's help this kitten find its mom. Look at the pictures of animals and their young ones. Can you name them? The scrambled letters will be your clue. Are you wondering how do animals reproduce or having young ones? Are you thinking the difference of mode of reproduction of cat and hydra? And how about cat and chicken? Or the goat and birds? So, what are you waiting for? Let us do some research about this. Most of the animals are reproduced by sexual reproduction. Most of them are born alive and some of them are hatched from eggs. Come on, let's visit some animals here. Before we proceed, I want to remind you that you have to take down notes about the details for this graphic organizer. You may write descriptions and you may also put picture of animals that belong. Having young one ensures continuous existence of certain species. Like humans, animals also need to reproduce. They also have their own reproductive system, which make them able to do such life process. Reproduction is the process of producing individuals of the same kind. of reproduction. The sexual reproduction that needs male and female parent and the sexual reproduction that needs only one parent. Sexual reproduction takes place when sexes from male and female animals unite to form a new animal. These sexes are called gametes. There are two types of sex cells or gametes. The egg cell for females and sperm cell for males. When the sperm cell and egg cell unite, it is called fertilization. The fertilized egg or embryo undergoes continuous development until it eventually grows into a new animal. Fertilization in animals may be internal fertilization, or external fertilization. Internal fertilization. It happens when the male animal releases sperm cell into the body of the female animal to fertilize the egg cell. The embryo can either develop inside the female body until it is born alive or develop inside an egg laid by female. External fertilization. The female releases eggs into the water and attaches them to a plant or rock or some corals. The male then releases sperm cells over the eggs to fertilize them. Reproduced by sexual reproduction. Before we continue, let's have a short.
preview. There are two modes of reproduction. The sexual reproduction that needs male and female parent. And the sexual reproduction that needs only one parent. Fertilization in animals may be internal fertilization or external fertilization. In internal fertilization, we have what we call viviparous and oviparous. Viviparous and oviparous animals are two groups of animals that produce offspring differently. The main difference between viviparous and oviparous animals is the method of development of the young ones. Oviparous animals are animals that reproduce by laying eggs. The time between the laying of egg and hatching of the young is called the incubation period. Most of the animals laying eggs undergo internal fertilization. But for some aquatic animals, they undergo external fertilization. Viviparous animals are animals that are born alive. These animals retain and nourish the fertilized egg develops into an embryo that grows while receiving the nourishment from the mother through the placenta. The time between fertilization and birth of the live young is called gestation. Of all mammals, the elephant has the longest gestation period, which lasts for about 620 days, almost two years, with intervals between births that generally last between four and six years. And now, let's move on with asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction in animals is reproducing of their offspring or young ones from the cell of only one parent without the need of the opposite gender. In a sexual reproduction, we have fission, budding, and fragmentation. Fission is the splitting of a cell into two or more cells. Each small cell is known as a daughter cell. Notice that the binary fission starts with the nucleus dividing itself into two or mitosis and move to opposite sides of the cell. After the cytoplasm constricts in the middle to split into two, the two new cells will have identical DNA. Body in this type of asexual reproduction, the parent organism divides itself into two unequal parts. Budding can occur in both unicellular and multicellular organisms. Budding begins by developing a small bud of a side of the parent organism. The bud may develop from any part of the organism. In most cases, there are spatial areas of the parent organisms that promote bud development. Then, the bud breaks off as a completely new organism. Organisms such as hydra, sponges, and some worms reproduce in this way. Fragmentation type of reproduction can be defined as splitting of organisms into different fragments. Each of these fragments is capable of developing into matured and fully grown individuals that are identical to their ancestors. 
The fragmentation is very commonly seen in both fungi and lichens. Molds, yeast, and mushrooms are some of the types of fungi where reproduction is achieved via sexual fragmentation. Marsupial animals nurse and nurture their newborn babies called joeys in a pouch after they are born. Marsupial comes from the Latin word marsupium which means pouch. And now, let's try to answer this. And this one is for your assignment. 